So Tam fam, here's what we're doing. We're kicking off the 2020 me. And a lot of people started this morning thinking about love. Because they were like, the last one wasn't the right one, but I want the right one this year. And there's nothing wrong with that. I love that. Because you think about it. You make a list of things in the new year you want to change, you want to improve, and love is often at the top of the list. And our first guest calls herself a heart hacker. After a debilitating breakup, she says lost, left her in a dark place. She went through this dramatic reset of putting herself first. She changed her home, her career, her city, and she said it led her to discover the scientific secrets to happiness and a full heart. And now, she wants to help everybody. Take a look. 10 years ago, I was on the path to living the dream. I was in a relationship with someone. We had our plans and our future set out. And then one day, that relationship fell apart and I broke into a million pieces. I stopped eating. I fell into depression. I had thoughts of suicide. I had to make a decision. I was either gonna completely spiral out of control or I was going to fight. It took me about two and a half years. I went to yoga retreats, I read all the books. There was nothing that was specific to the type of pain I was going through. So I thought, I have to be the person to create this thing that never existed for me. And that's how Breakup Bootcamp was started. I think the very act of choosing to invest in yourself is probably the biggest step you'll take in the healing journey. I love it, Tan Fam. Please welcome the founder of Renew Breakup Bootcamp, Amy Chan. Come on out, Amy. <laughs> I love it. Happy New Year. Love it. Have a seat. Have a seat. I love this. You're like the science of rewiring your heart. This is science-based. You've looked at studies. This is not just about how we feel. This is connected chemically yeah. to our journey. Mm -hmm. And you went there. You've been there and been back, and you've been in the dark spaces, and now you're in the light. Yeah. And you're sharing this with people. Yeah. Did it surprise you how much it resonated when you started doing these boot camps? Yeah, because I think heartbreak is something we all have in common. Uh -huh. It's going to come get you. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to look for it. It's going to be like, knock, knock, happy new year. Hey. Yeah. And a lot of us just don't have the tools. We weren't taught this in school. Yeah. And so when I started sharing my story, when I started helping people with this, a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, thank, God, thank goodness this exists. Yeah. What was the most surprising thing scientifically that you discovered about resetting and rewiring for the new year especially that you want people to mm. understand? So I thought I was going crazy because I, I missed this person, I was thinking crazy things, and I thought something was wrong with me. But when I started understanding what happens to the brain, mm -hmm. they've actually done scans of the brains of people newly separated, and they found that the same part of the brain was activated as someone who was fiending for a drug fix. What? So you're literally in withdrawal and you feel these withdrawal symptoms. Which is, I'm so happy you bring that up because heartbreak hurts. And sometimes we try to pretend yeah, that it doesn't. Yeah. And so rewiring yourself from that heartbreak required what? Because you're fighting science now. You're fighting chemical reaction mm -hmm. to a breakup. Yeah, there's a combination, I think, in the beginning of just understanding your body needs to recalibrate back to homeostasis because it's used to getting its dopamine, its oxytocin, these feel-good chemicals. From the relationship. From the relationship. Yeah. And now that relationship is over. Yes, and then because your brain's craving dopamine, that's gonna cause you to wanna scroll their social media. Oh. Look been at there. old photos, uh, right? Been there. And Drive by their house. Oh, uh, been yeah. there. Don't do that. Don't start the new year off like that, yes. And so you need to know, oh, this is just my brain playing a trick on me. Yeah. What is the kind decision for myself? The kind decision for, when we come back, what is the kind decision for yourself as you are resetting 2020 me and looking at love, the love you deserve in this new year? We'll be right back. We're celebrating the new year with a new attitude, and Amy Chan is still with us. She's the founder of Renew Breakup Bootcamp to help 
heal your heart in the new year and have it just spread to every aspect of your life. Joining us in the conversation, two women who attended Amy's boot camp last May and are moving on with their lives in 2020. Me, Tam Fan, please welcome Natalie Shea and Ashley McDermott. <laughs> Ashley and Natalie, before we talk about the boot camp and what you experienced, Amy, we went to break and you said, what was the line again? Am I being kind to myself? What does that mean? Am I being kind to myself? When we're about to make a decision because we're reacting because of the emotion, just take a pause and ask yourself that question. And that can actually trigger your prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain mm -hmm. that's responsible. Just asking yourself can do that. Yes, oh. just taking that pause in that moment. And, and you make a choice point. And you might go ahead and relapse, you might do the thing, contact yeah. your ex, but just making that choice point can stop you and help you make a healthier decision. All right, so remember that when you're getting ready to make that move. Am I being kind to myself? I love that. Ashley, you uh, just had a broke breakup with a long um, time boyfriend last April. Yes. You've been with him for 12 years. Yes. You were with him since you were 17 yes. years old. So I know this is raw. And first of all, thank you both, because it's not easy to talk about relationships. Yeah. And, um, what was it like being on your own? So many people will wake up today and they will make that decision this year. They're going to end the relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think right after the breakup, I felt I was sick, like physically ill. I didn't want to go to work. I didn't want to get out of bed. I felt like my whole worth was in my relationship that was torn apart and I was kind of focused on like him so much. And you know, maybe it was uh, seven days after my breakup, I reached out to her. I heard about the boot camp. There was one in May, this was end of April. And I, I felt like I needed professional help. Um, Natalie, you went to the boot camp after you said you had a history of bad relationships. Your story reminded me of my own. I used to always tell people, you know, shout out to everybody I dated. It wasn't anything wrong with them, but the relationships were bad, not toxic, not violent, thankfully, but they just weren't the right for probably them and clearly not me. And you went through this series of what a pattern you felt like you were in. So when I went to the boot camp and I realized my story, I really felt I was like the only one that hadn't just gotten out of a bad relationship. I just was kind of fed up with the patterns that I kept experiencing. And like you said, it wasn't like I, the relationships weren't bad. I just, it wasn't right one way or another. It wasn't way right one way or You know, I told, I said this on the show once before, like around 35 years old, I became afraid to date because I didn't want another failed relationship. I did trick myself into believing I, I'm okay being by myself. And I wasn't, because I do like being in a relationship. I didn't, I didn't have to be married. I mean, shout out to my husband, it's all cool. <laughs> but I, I like sharing my journey with someone. And so I had to reset my mind to really say out loud, I don't want to be single. I want to be in a relationship. And that did change the trajectory. It was hard because some of my friends were like, oh, you don't need a man. And I'm like, I don't need it, I want it. And it's okay to want it. Wow. It's okay to want it. Okay, so you found yourself, both of you at the boot camp. I can tell you, boot camps scare me. Anything with boot camp in it, it sounds hard. <laughs> is it hard? Because boot camp is like you're getting your butt kicked. It is hard. <laughs> yeah, it's well, emotional work. It is. Yeah. So when, when, when people come in, are most of the people women? Uh, it's co-ed now. It's co-ed now. Yeah. All right. Well, the first rule is no bashing the ex. No bash. I love that. Yeah. Sans, obviously, some extreme cases. I believe you're bashing that person, you're holding on to the bad. Mm -hmm. So you say no bashing the ex, yeah. then what? Uh, and then the programming starts and they're in programming from nine in the morning until nine at night. What? <laughs> yes. What are you doing for that long of a time? It's a jam-packed itinerary. Yeah. <laughs> jam-packed. You can break Therapy, for lunch? meditation, yeah. yes. Meditation. Yes. Therapy. Amazing food. Amazing food. We were taken care of. Mm -hmm. We do like, yeah. you know, mindfulness exercises and also physical exercise. Mm -hmm. And then everything in between, seriously. Yeah. I love this idea. Incredible. So the goal, is it just one day or is it a weekend? It's four days. What? Yes. <laughs> yep. We have a team of 10 experts. OK, so four days, mm -hmm. nine until nine. <laughs> You'll make me forget any ex. I'm like, I'm like, I love it. So, for, where were you when I was going through these things, Amy? Okay, so Ashley, when you were done and you finished the four days, yes. what was the biggest takeaway for you? The biggest takeaway was that I needed to put the focus in myself 
and not my ex. Like he wasn't the issue, I'm not saying I was the issue, but I think I went out of there really wanting to like become the woman I'm meant to be, not attached to a man. All right. Now that yeah. you point out your story is different, right? You weren't going through a breakup, but you were seeing patterns. After you left the four days, nine to nine, how did you feel? You almost kind of have to go through it for this to make sense, but you kind of get like a shift in who you are. Wow. Because when I was out of there, every time I felt myself going back to how I was or mm -hmm. do something that like wasn't necessarily the most healthy for me, yeah. I literally would think back to the boot camp. It's definitely a work in progress. Yeah. It's not something that's fixed immediately, but it's, it's, yeah. I it's, love that it's a work in progress. Yeah. Well, Amy, you, my mouth to the ground right now. I just think it's phenomenal what you're doing. Ashley, thank you. Natalie, again, thank you for sharing your love stories. And if you can't make it to the boot camp, that's okay, because here's the book, Break Up Boot Camp, The Science of Rewiring Your Heart. And guess what? Everybody in the audience, keep learning from Amy and 2020 Me. You're all going home with a copy.